afternoon, guys. Hope you're well. Same process as Max on either side. Be mindful, please. It's a Sunday embargo, so the open section is a little busier than normal. Uh, and we'll set an embargo partway through for 10.30 on Saturday evening, please. So let's start. Ian? <coughs> Hello, Pat. Um, obviously, we've seen the news this week about Oscar Bob's injury. Can I ask how he is and also your reaction to the timing of the injury, the severity of the injury when he had such a brilliant pre-season? Uh, yeah, I was in the training session, and unfortunately, unfortunately uh, had a, yeah um, a big impact on his injuries. Will be, I think, the surgery this afternoon. Hopefully, it's going to be well, and we are waiting him back as soon as possible in three, four months. And we are feel we are so sad for him. But not because it was making incredible precision, because it doesn't matter that. It's when injury is a long time, always is a problem. And looking forward to see him again as soon as possible. Good recovery, good speed, you know, as quick as possible. And yeah, that's all. In terms of the other players returning this week after their extended breaks, so Kyle Walker, John Stones, Phil Foden, Rodri, how able do you think they are to be able to play against Chelsea? I don't know. I don't know. So just two, two, three training sessions. They arrive fit, in good uh, shape. So today, the in professional world, the players take care even the holidays. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see today, tomorrow, and Sunday. We'll see the lineup. But I'm pretty sure they are ready. Maybe not for 90 minutes, or maybe yes, or maybe for a few minutes. Important is that uh, everybody's back and except. Oscar, the rest are, are OK. And how do you feel about facing a Chelsea team managed by Enzo Maresca? Uh, yeah, happy to see him again. We saw him yeah, a, few, a few weeks ago in the States, so looking forward to seeing him again. Um, Pep, could you just update us on Calvin Phillips and what's happening? Yeah, it looks like going to loan to Ipswich. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's, it's close. And the thing is already done. You never know until it's happened, but uh, apparently he decided to go there. Not so much with Calvin, because obviously he's not really been playing, but with Oscar and then Alvarez going to Atletico, does that make it more likely that you're going to have to look at bringing someone in before the deadline? Maybe. Or maybe not. We'll see. I mean, I'm, really, I'm really pleased with the squad they have. I know the vibe is we have to sign, we have to sign. We'll see. We'll see. Do you, do you not feel as though you have to have extra insulation? We've, we've spoken a lot about the games that... I'm really pleased with play. the squad I have, the players I have, and uh, I, I'm set. We'll see what happened in the market, and we can continue until the end in that way, or maybe we add some, some players. We'll see. I cannot answer you right now. Pep, can I ask you about João Cancelo? Uh, what's the situation with him? Is he training with the He's first He's training with us, yeah. And what is the situation with his future? We will see, yes. We will see. Maybe stay, maybe go loan, maybe... I, I don't know yet. So he's training with us, behaving really well in the training session. So he loves to play football, he loves to training, and we will see. Is there a world in which he can become a first-team player for you again this season? can happen, yeah. And yeah. just finally on it, have you had any inquiries that you know of for him? Has any other club come in nope. to propose anything? Not at this stage. Mm -mm. Hands please, guys. Yeah, Rob, at the top. Um, Bernardo said after the, the Community Shield that you'd been very generous with the time off that you'd given the players after the Euros, that Kyle and that Phil and Rodri came back this week. With Man United, obviously, Maynou came back early and started in that game. Does that perhaps mean that we're not going to see the best of City until later down the line, that you're, you're prioritising rest now over, over form of the team in the hope that they'll be well rested for Yeah, the we prioritise the rest, absolutely. I would love to give him more, more time, but it's what it is. But uh, no, no, I demand the best from Sunday against Chelsea. So we know you have to take points as soon as possible. And, uh, and when the players are fitter and better in physical condition, uh, they have to be ready.
Because Eric Ten Hag, I don't know if you saw yesterday, he said that his, his players aren't ready to start the season tonight. Obviously, your, his players were back earlier than yours. Does that mean that are your players ready for Sunday? We have to. We have to. I don't know what's going to happen. I know it's... Everybody knows we are not in, in the best conditions, but it doesn't matter. The desire and trying to do well and here, control absolutely everything of luck and the vibes of the team where is strong and all together doing what you have to do. I don't think there are a lot, a lot of teams that right now is in the perfect. So what I'm pretty sure that I learned from my experience in the many years, the season is so long. And the importance the players be ready mentally, especially. And for that you need rest. And yeah, I could have called them before and arrived maybe in the community shield in better conditions, but I learned that it doesn't matter. So we try to do the best in the community shield. We did it for a certain moment. The other ones we suffer could not be differently in these stages, and could not will not be different in on Sunday in the Stamford Bridge. But the players that we are here we have to do our best. Uh, hi Pep. Um, in terms of Enzo, I mean I'm sure. You will say Chelsea have appointed him because of his skills and his record at Leicester and things like that. But when clubs appoint managers who have worked with you, do you feel that maybe they are looking to see if some of your ideas, some of your magic, if you like, has rubbed off a bit on them? I don't think so. I would like to say yes, but I don't think so. So the job that Enzo have done in Leicester has belonged absolutely to him, to his staff, back home staff and his players. I influence in the Leicester was promoted to the Premier League again, my influence is zero. Zero. I didn't score one goal, I didn't save anything, I didn't have any idea. Um, because I said many times, when we are in my staff, it's not just in one direction, the info. I give the info, but they give it to me too. And I learn from them too. So it's a back and forth. It's not just what I'm saying to go to the, to the church. Uh, no. It's, uh, is on both sides, and the success for the people who work together belong absolutely to them. Hi, Pep. Um, on Calvin, why has it not worked at City over the two years? Yes, you have to have minutes. You have to recover game time. Play, 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 play. And and we thought that uh, maybe we would not have the minutes that uh, he has to be, he, he deserves to be, and that's why it's better have minutes for the chance maybe in the future come back here. So this is where it is. So he could be a City player in the future after this Absolutely, moment. absolutely. Yeah. Pep, obviously, Rodri came back um, midweek. Uh, he got injured in the, the Euros final. Like how, how is he? Yeah. How, how are you going to have to look after him over the next few weeks? Yeah, it feels, uh, I, I don't know, because he's in training. I didn't see him yet. So I think it feels good. Uh, uh, but we have to try to train. Him. Yeah, we will see when he starts to move his body. How how does he feel? So looking ahead to Sunday, given he's not Absolutely. he's not trained, he's so not even in the squad. No, no chance. And then just on Cancelo, have you had a have you two had a conversation um, after he's come back and started training? Have you sort of talked about your differences in the past? Does that need to happen? No, we, we training. We say hi. We talk and and training. That's all. So. About what's going to happen here on the other one, it depends on his agents and, and the club. And at the end, he had to stay. We will treat him like all the other players, like we have done since I'm here, with uh, respect and and try to take the best <coughs> with his amount of huge qualities that, that he has. So I never doubt about his qualities one second. But I don't know what's going to happen. Do you, do you expect Chelsea to have a bit of a, um, a look of Man City with Enzo there and a lot of their, their players like Cole, um, Raheem, uh, Lavia and that? I mean, do they have like a bit of a Man City about them? Yeah, there are something of that, yeah. But they remain to Chelsea, so of course a few players were here that uh, they were really, really well. Enzo was here one season, and, but many men was in the academy here, so in the first team. Uh, but it's Chelsea team, it's not Man City team. It's Chelsea team with his ideas and what you have to do. Can I just ask, with um, Echeverry is due in January, mm. is it 
discussed at all that he could come early, or is it is it definitely no January? idea about that? I didn't talk about uh, Chiki about uh, uh, Claudio Cheveri. No. Hi, Pat. Um, back to Enzo. What do you think about the job he's got on his hands at Chelsea? Because it's obviously a very difficult job. A lot of managers, experienced managers, have come in and it hasn't worked. How difficult do you think? My role? advice: give him time. If they accept my advice for the owners from Chelsea, give him time, and he it will work. All the manager needs time, right? So I don't know. Chelsea is, is the place to you know to 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 do this, but. Give him time and he will work. This is my feeling. And were you surprised that, I know you've spoken in the past about Chelsea and the transfer market and how many players they bought, were you surprised to see them once again go back into the market and spend so much money again this summer? I know you referenced it last year that you were... Uh, but you see the Devil squad, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> but the reason why they do it is not my business when all the times judge what Man City do, I will not be the first to say what the other do. They can do what they what they believe is the best for the team. I'm pretty sure they do it. But if you see the best squad have more than forty players or but for more more, more than forty, so it's a lot. So this is the reality, but I don't know. Yeah. So in Margot ten thirty on Saturday.